try that. A guy in the road once who wore a bottle cap with a blue star on it around his neck. I've probably opened a hundred bottles of quantum with these points. Hold it right there, stranger. Excuse the pointed gun routine, but I'm not expecting a caravan today. So, why don't you tell me what you're doing here? I'm here to help you. Oh, help! I see. Is this the part where you helpfully donate some bullets? Maybe, maybe re relieve me of the burden of wealth, as if I didn't have enough... Wait, you actually sound like... like you mean that. Oh, uh, I'll be. Did, did that? Did the Ron actually send you? That's right. Great. And here I thought you were another problem walking in, but turns out you're here to help. Huh, I, I have to admit I'm a bit embarrassed about the, the gun now. I'll just uh, put that away now. Whoop. Well, let's uh, let's get inside before it gets more awkward. Uh, my wife's better at making guests feel welcome after I. Uh, Pointed a gun at them. But I thought you said Manta Man never does anything useful. That's because stuff doesn't happen by the ocean. This time, the bad guys are on a cruise ship. Plus, the mistress came up with the plan, and she told Manta Man exactly what he needed to do. Super secret submarines, a cruise ship, and the mistress of mysteries. <laughs> now I know why you like this one so much. And there are the two lovely ladies of our humble manor. Jules, Katie, I have good news for a change. Looks like we have a place to relocate after all. Oh, thank God. I mean, welcome to our home. Make yourself comfortable. Can I offer you something to drink? Not sure if you'll like what's on offer, though. I've got fermented brain fungus beer, or glowing mushroom tea with an extra kick to it. Though, I guess it's kind of an acquired taste. Are you even thirsty? I probably should have checked first. I'm good for now, thanks. Probably for the best. It's still experimental. Brain fungus is either chewy like rubber or hard as a brick. The sweet spot between those is tricky. I suppose I should keep the glowing mushrooms for Rataway. If we're moving out this soon, mm, we'll need it for the trip. All right, that concludes the introductions, the tour, and the formal welcome dinner. Short and sweet. Not much to look at, I know, but she's been home to us for a long time. I guess now that you're here, we'll be moving on soon. We started preparing weeks ago when we uh, realized that the last crop wasn't going to get us through the next season. Still a couple things left to pack, though. Uh, if, if you're feeling impatient, ask Jules. She'll know what still needs to be done. You need anything from me? Tell me about yourself. Was not expecting it. My parents were... When I came home, long story short, I work as hard. You need it. You ready to head out? Uh, mentally, no. 
If you're itching for something to do... All generators on the fritz again. Hey, sweetie. I'm Katie. Mom says we're going to come live in your settlement. I hope it's not in a cave. <laughs> Dad says it's safer, but Mom kind of hates it. They both really want to leave soon, but another day won't hurt them, right? Can you tell me about them? They're... Right. Mom... You ready to head out? Mom's been... Uh-huh. Nice to meet you. You too. So... Dad says there are two types of... But Mom said... I'm not really used to being a polite... We're all eager to get going. We've got most of our things packed up besides what had to wait until the last minute. But the biggest problem right now is that my... I mean... Our Brahmin, Nessie, got out of her pen last night and, and, and wandered off. Any chance you could lend a hand and go search for her while we wrap up here? We should be ready to go once you're back. All right. I'll do it. Great. Brahmin are creatures of habit. She probably wandered to her favorite pastures by sunshine tidings. You could check there first. Maybe look around for a bit. I doubt she went far. And watch out for blood bugs. Season's coming in early with the rains. I sprayed Nessie with repellent two days ago, but it wears off eventually. It's why I'm so worried about her. Sunshine tidings. Nessie isn't at Sunshine Tidings. Calm down. Tell me what's going on. Mom said Nessie wandered out to her pasture by that place with the creepy robot. But you're not going to find her there. Franklin the Martian took her. He's an alien, so he likes studying Earth things. Like giddy up buttercup toys, comic books, and Brahmin. I'm sure he didn't hurt her. So you'll just have to go and ask him to give her back, and he will. Uh, sure. Okay. I know how it sounds, really. I wouldn't tell you if I didn't have to. You know, to keep him safe. But I don't want to leave without Nessie. Will you go? I wrote you a note to give to him, so he'll know you're a friend and that I sent you. 
No problem. I'll bring her back. Okay. <sighs> I wasn't sure if you'd believe me. I'd go and get her myself. But you heard my dad. Take this note, and he'll know I sent you. Franklin lives under the old ranger shack. Nessie is super safe with him, but mom and dad really want to leave soon, so we need her back. It's not far. I can show you where on your map. And you don't have to be scared of him. He's a very nice alien. And remember, no need to hurt him. He's nice. You found loot. Good dog. You can find wicked trucks littered all over the Commonwealth. Locked up and loaded with loot. Interloper, in your ignorance you have invaded the sovereign territory of Mars. I am bound by honor to give you one warning before I take you to the Galactic Court by force. If you resist, I will be forced to use lethal force. 
You're a ghoul. I'm not a ghoul. If you could comprehend my language, you would know that you just delivered a grave insult to my mother. Leave before I get angry. Whoa, whoa. Let's calm down and talk about this. Ah, invoking the interstellar right of ambassadorship. Very well. You may make your case for your presence. Be warned. Transgressing against the sacred ceasefire will trigger the electro-neuromagnetic traps that will boil the brain of any human in the room. I have something for you. What's this? You have an offering for me? Usually humans bring me items for study, not scribblings. Wait. Katie? She's... leaving? But I... I mean... I see the Chief Ambassador has... has... Uh, forget it. No point in keeping up the act now, I guess. It works better on children and kent out raiders anyway. So, Katie couldn't come out here herself. And that's why she sent you, Vanessa. That's right. The smelly thing is all yours. Good thing you came. I don't know how much longer I could stand around smelling a fertilizer. And, uh, sorry for the act earlier. I've gotten kind of used to it, but I guess it won't be the same without Katie around. Doesn't like me very much after some of the experiments Katie thought would be fun to play at, but she should follow you back to the farm without a fuss. I'll miss Katie. Take care of her and her family, will ya? Do you want to set up a permanent shop? I know the perfect place. For real? I didn't expect you to say that. But a permanent place sounds amazing. Yeah, I can see it now. Franklin's Fine Martian Wares. Or Franklin's Emporium of Galactic... No, too long. You've got yourself a deal, human. some snacks for us. Hi. Here's yours. Howdy, Scabber. Been looking for some help around these parts. You're the answer to my prayers? Depends. What's in it for me? Been saving some caps with your name on them for this occasion. Name's Eli. One of the NCR found out he was using the... When the church members come... Mm -hmm. One night I heard the voice of God. He commanded me to find... But I can't do it. I had to cross at it. What do you want from me? I'll be honest with you. Need to conserve it. I'll help if I can. God bless you, Scabber. Come back to me when you found it. May the good Lord be with you every step you take in the wasteland.
Hi, Katie. Hello. Katie's parents. You're Franklin? From Mars? I guess I can see it with the, uh, the suit and the eyes and the gun. Uh, yeah. It's not really true. I'm a ghoul and not an alien, as you can see. I'm sorry for lying, Katie. It's all right. I already knew that. I'm not dumb, you know. I've seen nice schools before, but it was so much fun to play, wasn't it? You're a smart kid, Katie. I guess... I guess I needed to believe I was Franklin from Mars more than you did. Uh, this is all very nice, but what about my... our Nessie? She's back in her pen, safe and sound. And I'm sorry for taking her in the first place. I was going to... Franklin, don't say that. Mom, Dad, I was the one that took Nessie out of her pen. I tried to go and get her back, but you wouldn't let me go. And you should have told us that right away. What were you thinking? I was worried sick about her. Mr. Franklin, thank you for keeping Nessie safe and bringing her back. Well, I'm not sure how I feel about you playing aliens with my daughter. She is a very special cow. In fact, if you figure out how to make her milk glow, maybe we could team up. Things that glow sell faster. Glowing Brahmin milk? Improbable, but I doubt anyone's tried before. Thank you, thank you, thank you! I never thought I'd say this, but I'm glad she was abducted by an alien instead of wandering off by herself. And Franklin is... interesting. I always knew Katie was too smart to get that carried away with make-believe, but I wasn't expecting this. He's definitely onto something with his branding, though. I've seen caravans cash out for less. I'll definitely talk more with him on the road. Speaking of, we're all packed up and ready. Are you all set? Absolutely. I'm ready to go. So, where are we heading? Watch your step in the cave. Lots of our mushrooms grow wherever they please. I found an old toaster and trade- I can't believe you convinced him to come with us! You're amazing, you know that? This will be so much fun! Once I'm not grounded anymore, anyway. <laughs> True superheroes never ask for a reward, but they always deserve it. I went and grabbed all the stuff from my secret hiding spot for you. Here.
My back hurts, my feet hurt. Everything hurts. Just use him as a sandbag. We'll bury him tomorrow. If I could go back in time and live before the Great War, I'd do it in a heartbeat. Building something? I've been around for a long I time. Guess. Seen a lot of things. Come and go. But I get the feeling right now is one of those times for the history books. I've heard red scorpion poison can heal some infections, but I can't get it to work for me. This makes me more sick. Couldn't sell that. She called you mutant, and that is why the What just happened? Find him! What the? How many bullets I got left? Shit! Satan could be greater, some shit, but no. My daughter was killed by a fucking boot fly. Keep your heads down. Wait there. Think they've run off? Think a Commonwealth boy is gonna give up that easy? Hey, that's some good work there.
think he won't just run, right? Seen you working there? I think I should fix my armor. Vault 88 emergency classification. Unspecified integrity breach warning. Any available Vault Tech personnel are required to respond under emergency protocol VT76. This signal will repeat. If anyone could hear me, I. Huh? Hey, Carla. Need to pick something up? Road's pretty long from here. Let's see what you've got. You break it, you buy it.
need something? You ask me. Freedom's always worth fighting. Can we trade a few things? Thank you. It's like I can finally think straight. Carla. Hey there. Trading? Let's see what you've got. You break it, you buy it. I want to trade a few things. I gave up alcohol after uh, settling down here. I am so Doctor said I shot today. my liver. Carla. Hey there. Trading? Let's see what you've got. You break it, you buy it. Got your usual order. Do you want it? Yeah, Let's yeah, trade. Sure. New Coca Cola's the only thing I can drink that wakes me up. Otherwise, it's all hazy. Need to pick something up? Road's pretty long from here. Let's see what you've got. I got a little bit of everything.
What's up? Hey, how's it going? Got no handouts if that's what you're looking for. Hey there. Trading? I'll take a look, sure. You break it, you buy it. I've got your usual order. Do you want it? Sure thing. I gave that locket to Mary on her 18th birthday. You won't know what it means. Hi there. Hey, I got a message for you. What is it? It's word for Mr. Jared. He's from the CPD. I'm with him, too. We beat the shit out of bad guys. You know, justice. Mr. Jared says that Mr. Kayla thinks you're good at fucking up bad guys, too. So that's why I gotta give you the message. Okay, I'm listening. Mr. Jared says that you had problems with the Gunners, too. Said you might like to know where there are some that deserve a good ass kicking. Told me to tell you that we're gonna go to town on some Gunners. He's hoping you'd come see. Or maybe even help. Shouldn't be a problem. Just tell me where they are. Mr. Jared said that you should come down to the headquarters. It's the South Boston PD near Andrew Station and the Gwinnett Brewery. You know, when nice people get the message delivered, they tend to, I don't know, give the messenger some caps or soda or something. Here's your caps. Yes! Thanks a bunch. That's wicked cool. Later. He's not happy. He thought we would be. What? Why does he get to drink to forget that?
I just want to trade a few things. Sure thing. Hello. Always so nice to meet a new person. The name's Maggie Green, former trader seeking a new life. Are you the one in charge here? It's nice to meet you. Ooh, polite too. <laughs> I'm grateful for that. Too many ornery folk out there in the wasteland. Although, I suppose I can't blame them entirely for that. But I suppose that's why I'm here. I'm looking for a change. And settling down feels like the best option. Are you looking for able hands? Glad to meet you. We can use some more veterans around here. Oh. Well, now, I can't say I've ever really thought of myself like that, but thank you all the same. So, where do you want me? decent setup you have here. It seems to be working better than anything else on this side of the Commonwealth at any rate. Don't take that to mean I think this place is a dump, though. You know, I'd like to help out, but I do have some work that needs doing first. All right. I'll do it. Don't worry, it's nothing terrible. There's a glowing radstag and his harem nearby that I'd like you to hunt. A total of four radstag altogether. The meat from those stag is a bit more substantial than potatoes or corn. So, all I'll need you to do is put a beacon on the glowing stag once finished. Once the activation signal from that beacon goes, we'll assume them dead and come pick them up. Thank you. Thank you. It's like I can finally think straight. Still a part of the wasteland. Nothing is domesticated yet. Out here. Yeah, you can take things one day at a time. I've seen worse. Yes? Yeah? Do you feel as good as I do? Oh.
That was great. Oh, do you feel as good as I do? Oh, that was great. I really must confess. Singing my song.